The owner of Alita's Bakery told me he is heartbroken at what he's seeing abroad, and he felt he had to do something. So this weekend, he turned to one of his popular baked goods to help out. Alita's Bakery in Everett is a family affair. Nature Vinzabari opened the shop in 2017, naming it in honor of his brother and sister-in-law. I love them and I appreciate them, and nothing would be possible without their help. With help from those closest to him. Our recipes come from our family. Our Zabari wants to extend help to families affected in Gaza. So we thought the best way to bring people together, not only, you know, for a fundraiser, but to just bring people together would be through baklava. From now through the end of October, Alita's Bakery will donate 100% of the profits from baklava sold in-house and on their website to help Gazans in need. As a Kurdish American seeing the horrors unfold in that part of the world this week. Palestinians being a displaced community, as long as, uh, along with Kurdish people, which I am being a displaced community. It stirs memories of his own family survival. We're raised with these stories, like uh, the stories of how we ran away to the mountains, running away from bombs, running away from bullets. The Everett-based baker was only five years old when he moved to the States from Iraqi Kurdistan. We've been ethnically cleansed by Arabs. We've been ethnically cleansed by Turks. We've been betrayed by U.S. interests. He understands how aid can be a lifeline to people who are displaced just as it was for his family. We have big hearts, we forgive, uh, we try to forget, and we move forward. And when there is any human being in need, we're, we're always helping. When his Baklava fundraiser wraps up at the end of this month. So as soon as the blockade is removed, then all this aid hopefully is gonna go pouring into it, uh, into Gaza. At the end of the day, the bags and boxes he sells is filled with bread broken by customers of all kinds of backgrounds. We have people who come from all over. Zabari says his condolences go out to all victims in Israel and Gaza, and he wants people to know this fundraiser isn't political. This is all humanitarian, and we love everybody, and we want nothing more than a peaceful resolution. For more information about Alita's Bakery and its fundraiser, we'll be posting those details on fox13seattle.com. Back to you.